I had a question the other day, and the question was, how do I get Machine Studio to work as a MIDI controller inside of the Logic Pro X? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Pretty much, um, well, let's turn the machine off, okay? And by default, um, this is what it would look like, okay? The first thing that will happen, let's go to that screen. Okay, this is what it would look like. It it would just be, you know, the, the yellow, orange, reddish background says start machine software or press shift plus channel for MIDI. So this is shift plus channel. You're going to hit that and it's going to take you to the MIDI mode. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up an instrument here. I'm going to pull up a drum kit. Okay. Now, by default, your groups is going to say, hey, is this really what you really, I, I think your groups act as the octave, I believe. So, as I hit the pads, you, you, you can't hear anything because there's nothing happening, right? But if I click on the group B. Turn it up. Now, Machine Studio is acting as a MIDI controller, pretty much. The only thing that you can't do, well, you can if you set it up properly, but I'm just showing you how to um, use Machine as a MIDI inside of Logic Pro X. You can use the transfer features, but you have to set it up that way. That's a whole other tutorial. Right now, let's record something. <laughs> Just some sample, really whack to me, but uh, yeah. So, let's play that back. So basically, Machine Studio should have already recognize itself inside of Logic Pro. I don't believe you have to set up anything. I didn't set up anything. I just plugged it up. I also use Machine Studio as a plug-in, you know, the actual plug-in inside of Logic Pro X as well. So you can do either or. That's the beauty of Machine Studio. You can do, the, you know, you can uh, operate this bad boy as a MIDI controller or you can use the software that comes with Machine Studio and do your thing inside of Logic Pro X. There you have it.